and welcome to Adrian and Wayne's Agony Corner. We've decided on two wheels better to go up a different angle and go agony. No, we haven't. We're not interested in people's problems, are we, Adrian? We're only interested in bike stuff. Adrian is director of this company that it, it's, it distributes clothing, accessories, helmets and stuff, like many do, but they've got a new angle because they're a new young product and they keep picking up on new ideas. And I happened to pick this up off the uh, display shelf around the corner before. Tell me about this. This carbon lark, is okay. it carbon fibre? This is carbon fibre and Kevlar mix, which is weaved together. Um, it's actually a new manufacturing process. Uh, it's actually a vacuum formed helmet. Uh, they use a similar to manufacture Formula One racing car bodies. Fast helmet then, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and is it unique to these people, ACT? Yes, the, the, the process is patented, um, basically. The, the material is pre-impregnated pre with epoxy resin and the, the helmet shell is placed in an autoclave which is a huge vacuum oven. Now the, the high temperature and high pressure in the oven uh, distributes the resin through the fibres so you get a constant, very thin, very light, hard shell. So, uh, allowing that, that with the hard shell factor then, does this yeah. allow them to use perhaps a little bit softer interior polystyrene foam to absorb the shock? Is this the practice they use? Um, well, the, the beauty of this process as well is they, because the material is placed into the mould, they can use as many layers or as few layers as possible. So they can get flexibility in places and rigid, rigidity in places, you, yeah. which you can't do with uh, bag moulding or blow moulding. And with such efforts to make such a clever shell, and it evidently yeah. is, it's very light, I noticed that when I picked it up, right. they're obviously going to complement it, and I can see they use a very thick visor and a nice yeah. rubber seal across the top, so presumably this helmet will be light, very windproof and quiet. That's right, yeah. There's, there's also a rubber seal behind the visor shield, which stops vibration, which also reduces wind noise. Um, it's all hand finished with uh, top quality leather, so you've got a nice finish to the helmet as well. Final question, everybody asked it, Adrian, how much are we going to sell this for? Um, well, the, they come in um, fiberglass versions, which are, use the same process and are still very light, light. They start at £139 retail. Uh, the carbon Kevlar, the top of the range, goes up to um, just over £300. So you, you've got from 139 up to got you. But I couldn't help but notice this thing here. Let me just show people this. It's different. Yeah. Leather clad. Is it leather? This. This is leather. Yeah. Uh, Do you know honestly, it's lovely that. Let yeah. me just introduce. It's lovely that. But I actually, I'm more, more interested in the box it comes <laughs> in. Is this unique? Nobody else brings it, I mean, a proper hat box, or in my case, I do fancy this for a few, I've got some tools at home that I need to put in the back of the car. It's the business. It looks class. That's got to be expensive. Um, not really, uh, because it, it looks like it's a tin box, but it's actually a cardboard box. I mean, it just looks uh, quality, and it tries to portray that this is an exclusive product, completely covered in um, top quality leather. Again, it's all handcrafted finished. Beautiful, it's yeah. a work of art isn't it? It seems yeah. too good to wear. It should go in the lounge that with a little light underneath to centre right. it off. What sort of cost is this? Um, that would retail at about £179. I think for a, a modern yeah. Harley man or a, even a wing of Virago, that type of bike, they'll th never think twice about this well, will they? It's right. gorgeous. I mean, it's two, two totally different markets but again you know they're, they're looking at the quality end of the market.